Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And again, I say to you, good morning and happy Saturday to all of you. I hope your day is already going fantastic. And even if it is, I hope it only gets better from here. I am out of my mind with happiness and getting this this morning uh, for today's show because I, I, I it's, a, it's going to be a really fun show and I really am excited for you to partake of it with me. But before we get into that, the good people at the Weather Channel says that our to high today was going to be 75 degrees. That is a beautiful day if you are out here in the Inland Empire, particularly Riverside. So get on out, enjoy the day, get some fresh air, visit a local farmer's market, go have a cup of coffee at a local coffee house, whatever it is, but get out and enjoy your day um, in some type of way. Okay, now on this day in history, a few things went on, but um, too many to name. So <laughs> but I'm going to pick a few. Back in 1962, Mickey Mantle, if you're a baseball fan, won the American League MVP for the third time. Go Mickey. Back in 1976, George Harrison appeared. George Harrison, the Beatle, for, for you young people who may be listening in the and don't know who the Beatles are, and which would really make me sad. Um, but George Harrison appeared on Saturday Night Live, and he did a duet with Paul Simon, which would have been legendary to see. Um, back in 1981, another uh, Beatle, Ringo Starr, released his Stop and Smell Roses album. In 1982, Drew Barrymore hosted Saturday Night Live at the age of seven. 70 years old, she hosts that grown folks show. Are you kidding me? And back in 2001, Josh Groban, do you remember him? Josh Groban released his debut album way back in 2001. So time has definitely moved on. Next, if today is your birthday, happy, happy birthday. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you get everything you want and more. Um, no matter how you choose to spend it, I hope you have a fantastic day. If you are selling your birthday today, you are sharing it with Robert Kennedy, um, Estelle Parsons, the actress, Franklin Cover, who was Mr. Willis in the Jeffersons, one of my favorite sitcoms, um, shares the birthday. Uh, Richard Dawson, um, Dick Smothers of the Smothers Brothers. Bo Derrick uh, was born on this day. And today is our current president's birthday. Joe Biden turned 79 today. So happy birthday, Mr. President. I have no delusions about you seeing this show or even knowing that I wish you happy birthday. But happy birthday, Mr. President. So if you're celebrating your birthday today, have, have a great day. If today is your anniversary, happy anniversary to you. If you're celebrating anything today, have a great day while you're doing it. Now, we've gotten that stuff done. Today is a special day for me, and it's something that has been in the making for, oh my gosh, a very, very long time. Um, but before I get to that, I need to also say, uh, <laughs> it's going to be that type of show. I'm just warning y'all right now. Uh, uh, this has been in the making for a very long time. <clears throat> and before I go any further than that, I want to say good morning and welcome to the ever silent but always present Mike Hogan, who is my producer, producer Mike, and he is here with me, without whom this will be a disaster. So I, I thank you again, as always. He's always keeping me on task. Okay, but today I wanted to have the opportunity to share with you a group of actors who were part of one of the best theater experiences I ever had. And we have all but one um, of the principal actors that were able to make it. Um, so just only one, but, and she has a little thing going on. She may be having a baby any minute. So um, <laughs> she has an excuse. Okay, so she didn't want to do this. But other than that, I forget what year it was. Do you remember? 2006. 2006. Laughter on the 23rd Floor um, was the play that was produced at Redlands Footlighters Theater. And it was directed um, by uh, Mark Allen Everett, who is sadly no longer with us. Um, he's directing something up in, in heaven, I'm sure of it. Uh, but uh, he put this cast together and it was lightning in a bottle. And it became a fast family. 
And it was one of the best ensemble pieces and that I've ever been part of. And it was written by Neil Simon and I love Neil Simon, but we were re reuniting for the first time since we did that. Some of us have seen each other intermittently, but not regularly, but we're all getting together for the first time. So buckle up y'all, you, you are in for a wild ride with this cast. So with that being said, I'm going to introduce uh, and have you see Clark Coffey, Jeffrey Holland, John Shannon, Ralph Griffey, Spencer Mansuri, and Susan and Kevin Bray. Welcome them all to the screen. I'm excited. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm totally excited. Yay. Everyone's here. Okay, I don't see uh, Susan and Kevin. Susan and Kevin. I, where, where they at? Y'all chase them away. See, well, they, they magically appeared earlier, so maybe they'll magically appear. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, not, just not a minute. My, okay, where's oh, there's Jeffrey. Has to unmute. Okay. Oh, there, there you are. are. There we go. <laughs> Microphones on, everyone. There we go. Everyone is there. Uh, Jeffrey's mic is not on. I'm not and sure. Jeffrey is not going. on either. Jeffrey's in the yeah, corner not. there. Where's he at? <laughs> his camera is on, but his. Uh, He's not even there. He is. There. I think there's he like, shirt. I think he like there's his face. You or something. Yay. Turn your mic on, Jeffrey. <laughs> there we are. There we go. There we go. Hey. Much better. The one person who is actually in the same house with me is yes. having the most difficulty. Um, <laughs> I have to be remote in the same house, which is not easy sound wise, apparently. So I'm upstairs and he's downstairs and la 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 la. There we go. La 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 la. Indeed. Okay, so I know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we can all see each other, but because there's so many of us, we don't have the gallery view going on. So when people speak, you'll see one at a time. Okay, um, but we can all see each other. Y'all, it is so good to see y'all faces. It is so good to see every one of you. Um, it's, it's great to see you. It's great to be here. Yeah, totally. It's awesome. This is awesome being with everybody right now. Spencer, it's good I agree. to see you. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. And oh yes! Wow! Hello! Hey, hello! And this is a uh, this is maybe my favorite role ever in in a show. So uh, oh. this is a very uh, sensible get together for me. <laughs> well, Excellent. thank you, thank you all for doing this. I know Clark is running off of two hours of sleep <laughs> he drove it's to, Tad um, loopy everyone yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> he, he drove like to oregon and he and got right. there so he <laughs> took a quick nap and he's he's gotten here um and for the record y'all i didn't even realize oh vicky janice says hello everybody hey. hello Hi, vicky. Hey. 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 notification oh, down okay. there yes, hello yes, vicky she did um, oh, and, and for the record, for those of you who are watching the show, if you have a question for any of the actors, please go ahead and put it in the chat. Producer Mike will let me know, and I will forward it on accordingly. Movies uh, and sports are my best categories. So oh, my gosh. Okay. Excellent. I, I, Producer Mike, this questionnaire is going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. Oh, uh, I, I already know it. I already know it. Okay, but this is kind of cute. As, oh, by the way, forgot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another member of the show. Producer Mike was the lighting director of the show. Yay! Yep. Yay! And I completely forgot that until I got the picture of yep. all of us. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, that he was so, so, so appropriate that he's here as well. And he's excited yeah, as well. Really. Is it, here, check this there out. He is. Yeah. So, hey, oh full my gosh, circle, right? everyone has their scripts. <laughs> <laughs> my, I read it last night to brush up. <laughs> so let me ask you okay so we all can agree that it was one of the best theatrical experiences that we ever had it was, um, it was so much fun agree um i don't think there was any drama on the set <laughs> nope. um that i can remember and that's rare in a show um all everybody was at the top of that game and we just had so much fun um i'm going to ask you all to share your favorite memories i know one of mine was sitting at the table and people will write really inappropriate things on the script 
um, and try to break characters. And I, it was horrible. Some of y'all wrote some really weird crap. Um, I don't remember that. Uh, you, you, you weren't at the, oh my God. They were right stuff. I think Ralph may, been a, may have been the worst. Oh, I can um, picture that. To write stuff down. Yeah. And you would get, you would sit down at the table, and then all of a sudden you see this really nasty yeah. sentence. Uh, so, this is one of my favorite memories of the play. So, um, Clark, yeah. I'm going to go in the order that I see you on my screen. Okay. Yeah. Favorite memory of the play. Well, I mean, so here's this I'm going to cheat a little bit because this isn't a super specific memory of the play. But this is what really sticks out in my mind for this. And it, it's a big deal for me. So we're talking 15 years ago. I had just moved to California yep. from Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I had just moved. And it was the first time in my life that I had moved somewhere. And I, did, I knew no one. I, I had no friends, had no family. So I had nobody out here when I moved 15 years ago. So this was a really big deal for me. To, to come into this play and to meet and work with such welcoming, friendly people, it really was huge. It made me feel like it, this was a home and, um, and it was just an extraordinarily wonderful experience. So that's what really stands out for me you about this. Spencer, right? Except for Spencer. Well, yeah, that's a given. Come on, of course. Yeah. That'll just be, you know, if I ever say anything nice, then we'll just, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, but, but I, but, it, but everybody was so friendly and welcoming. And that's a really big deal. You know, I'd move whatever that is, you know, X thousand miles away, whatever, and uh, didn't know anybody. And uh, this, the, it was a really big part of me kind of finding my way and making a home in California. Well, you handled it like a pro, brother. You really did. It was fantastic. Aww. Well, you as a youngster. Yep. <laughs> youngster. Yeah, I, know. I go back and I look at that photo that you posted and I'm just like, wow. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite picture of you. It's, it's so my cute. absolute favorite picture of you. <laughs> uh, John, favorite moment, favorite thing of memory about the show. You, you know, uh, Clark had this really specific moment, but I don't have a, I don't have a specific moment, but I have just a general memory. Uh, and when people, we talk about our favorite theater experiences, I always mention laughter on the 23rd floor. And it just, the, the, the vibe we, we got, especially during the rehearsal process, it was as if we were as, sitting around the writer's table, like we were actually in a writer's room. We were just joking back and forth and having this just this wonderful uh, chemistry with everyone. And I just felt like this is, we're, we're living what we're, we're doing here. We're just sitting around, we're, we're shooting the crap, shooting the shit, sorry. Oh, <laughs> just okay. that's that's what we're just indeed shooting, we were shooting the shit. Um, <clears throat> uh, and another memory I have, not necessarily my, one of the funniest memories I have okay. was, and I don't know if this is opening night or whatever, but the, we're all these writers and we're sitting around and we've all got our coffee cups. This one is a Mickey Mouse coffee cup. Uh, and we were just, you know, drinking this non-existent coffee. If you remember, there was no liquid no. in the coffee urn. So we're just pretending to drink coffee and people are standing around talking. I think this is an act one. And um, I'm drinking my coffee and I see other people, you know, they're drinking their coffee. And at one point it was like everyone on stage lifted their coffee cup up to their mouths at the exact same time. <laughs> and, well, that was kind of weird. <laughs> but, that's, but that's the kind of thing that, and I don't want to go on too long here, but that's the kind of thing that I remember is this, the rehearsal process was so fun and doing the show in front of an audience was so fun. And I just loved every second of it. Ralph. <laughs> All right. So, um, Actually, I have a lot of good memories um, of this show. Um, it's hard to it's hard to pick one as a favorite, um, but um, I mean, I knew most of the people that we when we started the show, except for Clark. Um, so I was very excited to work with uh, with everybody. Um, a blessing for me is we got to work with Mark, so that mm -hmm. was uh, that was amazing, and we got to be surrounded with his his energy throughout the whole show throughout the whole process. Um, but I have to say, I think. Um, 
John and I had a lot of scenes together and we would yell at each other throughout the thing because our characters, you know, didn't click, which was fun. Um, and me uh, working with me, me being directly with John and him, bu us bumping each other off, off of each other. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, that's, that was, that was a blast, but um, I don't know, just, just getting a chance to work with everybody and just, I mean, this thing was, it was magic. It was really awesome. And then holding the Emmy was also Really <laughs> that's awesome. right. Well, that's right. Remember, we had we had we got a real movies. Emmy, Mark. Real, uh, real, 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 real Emmy. Two of them. We had two did of them. He, did he yeah. ever turn it back? Did he ever return the Emmy to the Academy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Emmy? I, I, what I Emmy? No, we did. <laughs> <laughs> it was an excuse to go to LA, so we we took it in. Yeah. <laughs> so with this segue, Jeffrey. Um, because everyone's shipping, so I'm going in order. Jeffrey, one of your favorite memories? Um, a, a couple. Um, it was the first time I legitimately got to use the word fuck, um, <laughs> on the Footlighter stage, and I think I got to say fuck and fucker and <laughs> or fuckers, plural. Um, I had done another Neil Simon, uh, rumors where my character, when he burns his hand, says, Oh. Fuckerini, but Mark directed me to not really emphasize what I was saying. So I could have just been saying zucchini. I actually got to come out with the F-bomb. So that was one. Um, Sue's speech resonates uh, like crazy in my head. The, you know, if, I, if you lived in France, you'd speak French, but I live in here. So I speak shit or I speak fuck. <laughs> All of those were like so amazing. And um, John, your line. You've heard of a good dilemma. <laughs> I that pops into my head so many times during my life, and I I, I have no idea why it's that one, but it stuck. And um, Spencer throwing my shoes out the window. That scene was That's um, a funny <laughs> scene. Yeah, a real favorite. You know, yeah, it was. Just, that's the other thing I remember the most. But uh, before I move on, do y'all remember? the pushback that Mark got for us using all of the language, especially yes. uh, especially Sue. In the yes. Sue, as because as, as, Sue had that really incredible um, <laughs> uh, yeah. F-bomb died <laughs> monologue. And Mark got a lot of pushback for doing that. Yeah, yeah, well, it's an older audience there. Yeah, I remember, yeah. right. It's it's a it's an it's yeah. the audience definitely skews older and fairly conservative, if I remember right, mm -hmm. out there in mm -hmm. Redlands. And oh, you remember I, right? I, yeah, and and, and <laughs> yes, I do yes. have another. Oh man, I've got another memory. If you go around again, so now now that we're talking, <laughs> okay, I know it's not my turn. Anyway, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, hey, just so for the I, record, I never got to say fuck. By the way, is that right? You said yeah, I had fuck. to say fuck. Oh, yeah. I don't think my character swore either. Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, we, Milt and uh, Val went back and forth. It's not pronounced fuck, it's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. I, I, don't, I, I didn't, never swore. My character never swore. Yeah, me either. Oh, really? Mm -mm. So there were a Sorry, few guys. I never swore. wholesome <laughs> members. So who's shipped it? Spencer. Uh, uh, favorite memory of the show? Oh, I don't know if there is one favorite memory. This was, uh, I think this was my third community theater production um, and the first real role that I had. Uh, I think the first one was, uh, oh, was it Fontana Mummers? We never finished um, our run. Um, it ended after I think one weekend there was a problem and so it ended and then I did that show uh, I think it was Laura with Kevin and Sue and I think I had three lines and then so then I get this role and I was so excited about it because it was I felt like it was the first time I really made it in community theater and, and you uh, crushed it <laughs> and what's that? You crushed it. Oh yes. thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so much fun and I felt like everyone was cast correctly you know everyone looked and acted like what they and, and it was so it was such a positive experience for me and that's probably the main reason why I continued doing it um continued being in productions it was just so 
it, it, but it still is when I look back on it, my my favorite role because it was such a kind of a meaty role and and I got to just go crazy with it. Um, being able to write on the wall every night, you know, and have a brain <laughs> tumor, oh, uh, with, yeah. writing on a wall. I without totally getting, forgot about that. Yeah, without getting in trouble for writing on a wall, you know, <laughs> right. like, I do it every night, and they had to paint over it each night. I mean, it was so much fun. And repair the holes. Mm-hmm. And repair. We yeah, we'd be there till like midnight every oh night. Oh my god! I totally forgot this, about that. All that drywall. Yeah. Oh, um, that's right. Yeah. But yes, I mean, this is this is um, probably my favorite show that I've ever been in. So I'm glad, I'm glad you guys got together and, and we got to discuss it. But everyone was great. Everyone was. Uh, everyone did get along. That doesn't happen oh, yeah. in every show. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, and that's uh, true. Kept, all the drama was kept on stage. <laughs> yes, where it should be. <laughs> Absolutely. We, yeah. um, I think we lost Susan and Kevin. I know they were having some bandwidth issues. Oh, so no. when they no. when it was, so when they come back, no. um, I absolutely will let them back in, and we'll uh, we'll get to them. Don't let them in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a favorite memory. Yes, I had hair. <laughs> yeah, I wish had I more and darker hair. <laughs> oh, how that changed! Oh yeah. Oh my god, guys, guys, oh. this is just blowing my mind that it's been 15 years. I mean, yeah, it doesn't I, feel I, that long. I, I can hardly wrap my head around it. I mean, in some ways, it feels yeah. like it. You know, especially as we talk about it now, and as I see your faces, it, you know, it takes me back to those wonderful memories. In some ways, it feels like it was, you know, just, you know, weeks ago. And then in some ways, it just feels like this was like just a, a whole other era, you know, from, I yeah. mean, it, it, it was such a pivotal point in my life. Um, so it's, a, it's like I had kind of just described. So it was a significant marker for me, a uh, big, big point in my life. But um, wow, in some ways, it just, 15 years my goodness it's just hard for me to wrap my head around how old I am generation <laughs> I, I didn't uh, do another footlighter show until 2019 I did I hate Hamlet and it, it was it was weird going back into the theater to yeah. audition and then uh, go downstairs for the dressing and say, yeah I remember right. all this this oh wow this is yeah where, this is where laughter happens and it was it was yeah. I don't want to say I got chills but it's like it was just such a nice little deja vu for me to come back into that theater because that's where all the fun stuff happened, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm assuming, is it pretty much the same inside? I haven't been back in, in a yeah, long time. Either. Either. Yeah. Oh, wow. I should just go over sometime and they have different lighting, that place. But it's a different yeah, thing. they put in new lighting. They put in, okay. yeah, for, um, for Lost in Yonkers, which I just finished there too. So I did, right. uh, I Hate Hamlet in 19 and Lost in Yonkers just a couple months ago. And for Los and Yonkers, they put in the new lighting. Yeah. Oh, so fun. Yeah. I, it's a I, great little theater. It is. It is. I love the lighters. I have to admit, though, I haven't been back there since Spider's Web. I haven't done a show there. And that was the last show that Mark directed. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And I. Not Spider's Web. It's not Spider's Web? What was it? It was the, and then there were none. Um, and then there were yeah, none. that's right, that's right. I that's always right, do yep. that. The other. Otherwise known as 10 Little Indians. Correct. Yes. But you know what? I, I can't, I, I can't, Susan and them are back. Okay. It looks like they're popping on. Yeah, they're popping back on. But, you know, it's that stage, and I, I don't mean to over-dramatize it or over cinema cinnamon blah, 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 blah. It's hard for me to get on the stage and not think about laughter. Yeah, yeah, me it's too. It's very difficult for me to do that um, because it was such lightning in a bottle. I mean, everybody was just like firing. I remember John in that hideous cream soup. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, yes. A hideous cream suit. And my, I think one of my favorite things was watching uh, Spencer and Jeff in, in the shoe uh, scene. And then Jeff says, they set up this joke to where, oh, you're back, I'm so excited. We hear you, Susan. We, we hear there, you. There's Susan, and there's Kevin. Yes, and Jeff says, no, no, and then someone's, I think it's Spencer says, 
what's funny about Ira Stone? And Jeff goes, nothing. There's nothing funny about Ira Stone. And I just thought that was the funniest line ever. <laughs> the audience loved it too. The audience yes, they was did. crazy. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Susan and Kevin, <laughs> I saved you for last on purpose. The story of my life. <laughs> Y'all, come on! Don't don't start with me. And Kevin Gray <laughs> as Max. <laughs> okay, now let, let me just clarify something. Had you guys met prior to that show? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But you became a thing doing mm -hmm. that show. A no. Thing. After. No. Later. <clears throat> But clearly, so no, later, so no parallel no, dimension. Just like work with no, me. No, we, we're still not a thing. We, we were a thing because we had met during um, the Constant Wife, which was the Constant Wife, which was in two thousand five, yeah. August and September yeah. of two thousand five. Okay. Yeah, so we were probably by that time engaged, um, but we didn't get married till the next year. So gotcha, gotcha. Are you guys um, got married in two thousand seven? Yeah. Wow. What you say? <laughs> and for the record, I will say I'm going to ask you both this question, but I think Jeff has something that he needs to say. They didn't, they were not in on the rotation of the favorite moments. Yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm oh, okay. That. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I just need to leave it to I've you. Done, I got a few shows under my belt, <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh, We're, we got a couple cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. I'll deal no, with this. I'll deal Jeffrey with this Hall. after the cameras turn off. Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey we've there. got a comfy couch here. So if you're, you know, okay. Um, Come on down. I'll call Bring you. beer. Um, because <laughs> my parents are southern, I have to do ladies first. Uh, Sue, you had a heavy lift with your role. I mean, because you got, I mean, I couldn't remember the last time a woman had to swear on stage like you did <laughs> and didn't have to do it <laughs> at Footlighters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I am absolutely in love with her right now. It's like, it was, it's a scene I never miss. I, I just, I just love to watch. I'll just sit there like... <laughs> Well, what is your I favorite like memory? She talks dirty too. <laughs> okay, okay, wait a minute. That's a whole nother show. Yeah, that that is, that's you you go into you yeah. go into a new you go into oh, a new oh place. That's a different show. Well, I gotta say that. <laughs> oh gee, now our dog hey. chooses this time to go off barking. Um, as the one who delivered that speech, it th it was thrilling, truly thrilling to be uh, on that stage and deliver that every night. Uh, it's my understanding that because of that speech, there was some kind of clause put oh. into the Footlighters uh, thing that in you- program. That was called the, the, the F clause or something. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that, you know, it, it, went, it went way too much, way too much. I gotta say, first of all, um, that it was one of the best theater experiences I've had, just, just like everyone else. Yeah. This ensemble was incredible. Mm -hmm. And um, I, it was just a thrill for me because I was the only woman in the show. So I would sit back at that table and literally just watch you guys do your thing. And it was, I was as enthralled and entertained as the audience. I was, I was just, it was hard for me not to laugh with the rest of them because mm -hmm. all of you were so funny. Uh, it was just, and to have my soon to be husband on stage, uh, just doing his thing and just enjoying it so much. It was, it was really, it was one of the best memories I've had. I have, and I will say this to you, sister. I think I can speak for everybody that I can see. All of the cast, 
we were waiting for you to deliver that monologue every <laughs> night. Because it, it, it's it was just it's just legendary. <laughs> and you were you were so and you just did it. You didn't add any extra on it. You just did it. I'm like, <laughs> that's my type of bitch right there. <laughs> and the fact that I got away with being yes, you did. <gasps> when, <laughs> yes. when I was like way past the age, everybody I'm sure in the audience is going, what the, are you kidding? That ain't their business. Found. You did it all right. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't their business. That's, that's acting, folks. Yeah. So, you uh, did, a, you did was, a fantastic job. Oh, thanks. It was, it was just so fun. It was just so fun. So all Kevin, right. Leading man. You had a heavy lift on that one. That, that would be you, Kevin. That would be you, sir. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll talk about you. Uh, one of your favorite memories about the show. And you did a killer job in it, by the way. You really crushed that part. Oh, oh. totally crushed it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> it was... I, I hadn't had uh, very many shows under my belt. I think this was like the fourth or fifth one that I had done. Uh, maybe not even that, maybe the third or fourth. And the, uh, it, there, there was a, a, a symbiotic chemistry there uh, with everyone. Um, I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, the energy that everyone brought uh, to the stage and, and certainly even in rehearsals, once we all got our lines down, uh, oh, God, yeah. it was bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Um, Mark, I, I remember was, was just as uh, encouraging. Uh, Max is, is off the wall. I mean, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you have to bring uh, a lot of of energy to that. Um, and one of my favorite scenes that I'll always oh, remember was trying to get the piece of paper out of Spencer's mouth. <laughs> uh, That's such a and, great scene. Yeah. Yeah. I reread the show and I was, God, what a wonderful scene that was. I yes. love it. <laughs> Is there a recording of that, of that show? Is it? Is there? there is. I don't care about your brain tumor. Didn't, didn't I don't want to talk about what happened to my wall. It, wait a minute. Well, hold on, hold on. There's is a there DVD. recording of it? Yeah, I there is a DVD, DVD it. and I have it someplace in my house. So, you know, I've moved twice since then, so I, I have no idea where. It I'm is. almost oh certain. Gosh, I'm I almost love certain to watch that again. Yeah. yeah, I'm almost certain that I've got a copy of that on DVD too. I mean, so that's where I'm kind uh -huh. of checking my my memory math here. But you guys remember as well, right? Yeah, you recorded one of the DVD. I have to look for okay. mine. I don't remember. We should, now, we should put it on Facebook. We I should do a we should do a watch party. Oh, yeah, totally. you should. Guys, oh. With commentary, yes. With commentary, with commentary. For with commentary. commentary. I'm down with that. <laughs> I I remember Clark opening the show and closing the show. Yep. Yeah. Uh, John, I I thought was just absolutely superb it, with it, it was you know what it was when i say chemistry and the symbiosis we worked off each other because mm -hmm. every actor was giving the other actor ammunition to work off of because this yeah, was supposed true. to be a manic show and i think that speaks to the brilliance of neil simon is that oh it does the, just Absolutely. the way the whole show was structured is that it allowed that to yeah. to the extreme yeah yeah the extreme. yeah uh it, it was uh for the record uh, and, and i too was waiting for sue's speech especially <laughs> oh after the show it's fantastic <laughs> oh see again a yeah. whole another show i don't know where <laughs> you <laughs> are yeah. Yeah. Bray. this is not I, that I show can't help today <laughs> <laughs> i got a message Vicky Janice and Brooklyn, Mark's daughter, would love to watch the DVD with us. Oh, oh that'd be awesome. Oh, that would be, that so would be fun. fun. Yeah, yeah. We will um, do that. 
I've I've also got to say that it it the whole symbiotic everybody together ensemble all it all stemmed down from the top, mm. and and Mark was just one of the best, <laughs> yeah. one of the best. And yeah. I mean, he was he was out there directing, yep. but he was out there laughing just as hard as everybody else. So yeah, and the, it's one of the. I mean, he really did, and I I try to 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 take this lesson from him and uh, apply this in in my own work. I feel like he did such a great job of creating an environment that was just really a pleasure and fun. And I mean, especially you're working on a comedy. Uh, you know, if you're not having fun, people can tell, right? right. And I think, yeah, I mean, yeah, all of us, as we describe our experience yep. on this show, it, I mean, everybody had a blast. And uh, and I really think a, a big chunk of that is, is, it comes down to Mark. He did a great job of just making the, the environment just a real pleasure to, to be around, you know, to be in. 300%. Yeah. I will say it's one of the, if not the only, and with no disrespect to any shows that I've been in, where I always wanted to watch the actors. <laughs> Whenever they were on stage, I wanted to watch what they were doing. You know, I was so engaged. I was so, it's like, sometimes it was hard to sit on stage and stay in character because y'all were just some fools on stage. See, that was and, the great thing about my role is that that's what I was, that's what Lucas was doing. I'm like watching all you crazy cats. Go, you <laughs> had to navigate all that foolery. So it was perfect <laughs> for me, yeah. My favorite line that you say, I didn't know you were talking to me. Oh God, <laughs> I, that was like right after my entrance, you know, Clark's doing the intro and setting up the exposition there. And I come in and bam, bam, bam. I called you already all last week. Why didn't you say anything? I didn't know you were talking to me. Got a just, huge laugh. Absolutely. Huge laugh. So fantastic. I mean, it was just so brilliantly done. And you guys were just so amazing. And like, I don't know if I'll ever get that again. I want to get it again. And, you know, I, I, I really do. But man, I wouldn't trade that for the world. No. For the I, world. And, and the, the, there was a, uh, there were no, uh, pauses. Everyone was so engaged that I, I remember one line, and I don't remember who it was with, whether uh, John or Spencer or Clark or Jeff. It it was. Are you? Somebody tried to call Max, and Max says that was you, and he said that yeah, that was me. He said, "Are you sure it was you?" And, yeah, I mean, it didn't sound like you, and it was bam, 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 bam. Uh, it was as close to a professional production as I had ever been in. And to this day, it's still the, the, uh, the epitome of what a good show should be. Whether it's in community theater or professional, yeah. everyone knew what everybody else was doing mm -hmm. and fed off of it. Mm -hmm. It was great. Yeah, it was at um, I'm going to go again, because I want to ask everybody the same question. Then we're going to get to the questionnaire, because oh, there's so goodness. many of us, oh. uh, but I, of which I know it's going to be a mess, okay? <laughs> I know it's going to be. What is everybody doing right now? Spencer, I'm going to start with you. Are you doing any more acting? Because I, I, I loved you in this show. I loved you in this show. Uh, what are you doing now? Are you doing anything? I retired uh, in June, so I've been relaxing. <laughs> oh, nice. And, and uh, getting in trouble on Facebook, uh, some of you have probably noticed. <laughs> uh -oh. So you have not. What are you doing wrong? No, 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 no. <laughs> Just my political views. Oh, um, gotcha. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just uh, relaxing, uh, trying to stay safe, but also trying to live a normal life and go out and, and eat and, and uh, you know, uh, still wearing a mask. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, you traveled a little, didn't you? Yeah. What's that? Didn't you travel a little? Uh, oh, well, since the show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I mean, since you retired. <laughs> No, no, since I retired. Um, no, I, I've been, I stayed in California since I've retired because just because of COVID, you know, I oh. didn't want to, 
I didn't want to go overseas and have to deal with the quarantining and all of that. Uh, so, but yeah, mm-hmm. just hanging around here. I have, um, have not been in a show in a, in a while and it's, it's, you know, the bug is, is starting to rise in me and I, I kind of want to get yeah. out there and do it and, and uh, see all of you guys again, but I want to go see some shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it all open now? Is everybody, are, are all the theaters? Pretty much. A lot. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Spencer, yeah, yeah. everything I've ever seen you do, I've just enjoyed the heck out of it. Oh, thank you. I feel the same way about you, for sure. For sure. We've been in a few shows together. Laura, we were in yeah. Laura together, which you were amazing in. You remember Laura? You know, I, I remember, remember it? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were the killer, remember? <laughs> I, I, I know. <laughs> that was oh. great. And this was great. And I don't know if we've been in any other show. Oh, we were in... Uh, was it three um merry wives of windsor were you in that yeah you yeah, were both in that one. you were both the yeah theater. yeah yeah that was right. that's also a long time ago gosh it, it all <laughs> some, some of it seems like it was decades ago <laughs> but uh, yeah no which, i love working which with ages people. all of us <laughs> <laughs> just a little just a little <laughs> Ralph, I know the answer to this question already, but I'm going to ask you for the sake of our 10 viewers. Uh, <laughs> uh, what exactly are you doing these days? Uh, well, I got a couple of things going on. I'm, uh, I just got um, cast in a show called Sweat with this guy named Tony Harris. I mean, uh, maybe you guys know him. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Devastatingly <laughs> handsome, bald, black guy. I yeah. heard. It's, that's what I heard too. I don't know. <laughs> Where is that? Uh, I'm gonna be at RCP in February, and then um, I'm also uh, in the in the loop to direct a couple of shows over at Cast in the in 22. So uh, Patsy Klein, Scream Queens two, and a show called Honky Tonk Angels. So those are fun, and um, I have a recurring role in uh, a Star Trek. Uh, YouTube show that we're doing it's called Rain Cross Saga um, and I play a, a role called Griffin which is a lot of fun we've done several th- we've done th- three so far and we've got several in the can so that's always fun so those are on YouTube so that's what I got going on it's a lot of fun um, I just want to say real quick it's uh, Spencer was saying that he's worked with people you know it's it's fun I, I, I actually got a chance to work with just about everybody except for Clark unfortunately um, and it's always really cool to to work with the people that you really appreciate. Um, uh, so Tony, you and John and Kevin and Sue and Spencer, you know, you 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 get a connection like what we had in Laughter on the Twenty Third Floor. And if you get a chance to work with people that you worked with and had such a great experience on before, it's always like when you get to work with those people again. It's it's you know it just brings a smile to your face. So it's it's really cool. But yeah, so. Anyway, that's what I got going on. Uh, John. Yes. What you got going on, bro? <laughs> I don't have nothing going on right now. Uh, I just finished uh, my fourth Neil Simon show in Redlands, uh, Lost in Yonkers. Um, after the uh, laughter on the twenty third floor was my first Neil Sh- uh, Simon. Uh, between those two, I did. Uh, I played Felix in The Odd Couple in Rialto, and I played Jake in Jake's Women in Rialto, and. All four of those shows were just wonderful, wonderful experience. I love Neil Simon. I me too. Yeah, can't give him yeah, enough credit for everything. Uh, I'm kind of looking at uh, upcoming uh, seasons of the different uh, theaters. I just saw the <clears throat> Chino uh, Community Theater their season preview show last night. Some of that looks intriguing. Uh, Riverside Community Players is doing a Ken Ludwig adaptation of Murder on the Orient Express uh, later oh. on in their season. And that, yeah. that sounds very interesting to me. So I'm going to look into that. But right now, nothing, nothing happened. Gotcha. Oh, uh, y- y- your wife says that she loves that your cat got on the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, there he is, right there, cleaning himself. Ralph's cat. Ralph's cat was on there too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah. Really? I didn't. I missed that. Okay, uh, Susan and Kevin, what are you guys up to these days? I saw your post on Facebook. Let me give you a quick shout out because you posted something that um, I thought was quite beautiful. It was um, beautiful. It, it, but um, I, I just want to reaffirm 
here that nobody questions your love. And what exactly are you doing, Jeffrey? I'm trying to. Because <laughs> we've seen more of this pink t-shirt. This is than, a... um, <laughs> It's like all of a sudden, are we doing a Pepto-Bismol commercial? What's happening? Oh. Just, all of a sudden, it just, it's oh, just could. all pink. What are you <laughs> doing? Lord, just today, like y'all. Well, so I'm, I'm in the upstairs room, which is completely unfurnished, except for a bed. And I'm sitting on the bed, and I have the, uh, my iPad propped on the handlebars of my also pink bike. And um, I, but I'm like this, if I sit on the bed without some, so I need like, I'm a child who needs a phone book <laughs> to actually <laughs> come to the table. And so I had- right, Jeff and Tony time. switch places. So, so okay, so don't ask me why I drink again, ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> But back to Kevin and Susan. <laughs> oh God. What are you guys up to these days? Nothing. 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 <clears throat> Just uh, looking forward to the holidays. And uh, actually we have we had plans and we still have plans to move. Um out of Kevin, state. Kevin retired ah. at the end of November. Oh, and, okay. And we both, um, we're, we're, I just, uh, I, I personally prefer a cooler climate. Um, it's, it's too warm here during Cal in California now uh, for me during most of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, the traffic is just hideous. Yeah. And uh, so the both of us are looking to move to Washington State. So oh, uh, nice! Right. We're kind of uh, beautiful. Kind of, that's where our our focus has sort of been recently. So where in Washington? Uh, uh, a town right by Olympia. The, oh, okay. uh, the capital. So huh? yeah. Kevin, over to you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I haven't done uh, anything since, what the hell was, uh, a couple of years ago for Christmas, I think we did. No. No? You did, um, what's the thing we just did at Redlands? Yeah. Oh. Arsenic uh, and Old Lace. Arsenic and Old Lace. Arsenic and old lace. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Um, All three of us and, were in that. And I had the pleasure of, of uh, seeing Ralphie there as, as uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Um, or uh, he was a Brewster, but he thought he was Roosevelt. Yeah. Um, but no, I, you know, I wanted to do more theater. Um, but then the pandemic hit and I retired last year in at the end of November, right in the middle of the pandemic. So, you know, those, those fantasies that you have when you're, you know, when you've got 11 years left to work until you're 65, uh, boy, I know what I'd be doing right now. And I, th four o'clock, it's happy hour. And I'd be over there having a beer with my pals and taking long walks and being at the library and doing theater. I couldn't do any of that with the exception of taking long walks. Uh, but when I was working, it got... Uh, Doing theater got to be like a second job. And I just didn't have the energy for it anymore. Mm. Uh, although now uh, I could dedicate all my time to it and have fun uh, and have something, you know, something to look forward to and something to do. Well, um, that's, whatever theater community you join, we'll be lucky to have you. Amen. Um, same with Spencer. I need you to get back on stage because uh, you're fabulous. And Sue, you know, I just adore you. So <laughs> you need to be on stage again. 
And, and, and can you please find the show that allows you to use the F bomb <laughs> incessantly? <laughs> can you do it? Do it for me. Give me a Christmas gift. Okay. <laughs> do it, Spencer. Do, do, it. do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Clark, what are you up to, sir? <laughs> oh, my, you guys. Oh, you're a hoot. Um, Let's see, I've got a couple projects that I'm in the middle of. I, um, I co-wrote and I'm uh, a producer on a little horror show uh, film that called Winter Island that shoots in Seattle in December and January. So exactly. basically I'll, I'll come back home from Oregon after the week of Thanksgiving and uh, then fly out to Seattle and start shooting that. Um, I have a documentary film, feature film, that I'm in the early, early stages of um, uh, on uh, a choreographer and dancer, Catherine Dunham, a documentary film on her. Um, yeah, are you familiar with, with Miss yes. Dunham? Yes. Yeah. Well, hey, you'd be yeah. surprised how many people aren't. So, uh, so her, uh, I'm from St. Louis originally. Pharisees. And, and of course she lived in St. Louis um, and taught for many years in East St. Louis. Her, um, her personal like, um, what, like, um, like videographer who followed her around for the past, like for the last couple decades of her life uh, came to me with tons of footage and, uh, and like uh, the rights to like unpublished um, autobiography and all of this mm -hmm. material. So we're yeah. in the process of putting together some pitches and hopefully we can get, uh, we can get started on a film about her life. Uh, she was an amazing woman. So those two projects are taking up a lot of my time. And then for funsies, I have a podcast called The Soldiers of Cinema that I do with a good friend. In, uh, he lives in Toronto and we actually met in a, a film class. And so uh, we've got, well, I can't believe it, we've been doing this now for a couple of years. So We've got quite a few episodes in the can, but we basically pick a film and every couple of weeks, every episode and dissect it. So that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. it. And he's married, he's married to a surgeon. And this is, yes, this is correct. And she, she outshines all of that. Yes, I am extremely proud of her. I am. <laughs> I did not know she was a surgeon. That's fantastic. Yeah. Right. So, so when I need free medical device for a free operation, I'm rolling up the way you are, because um, that's what we do. Um, so anybody well, she, else? she is a plastic surgeon, so you know, hey, if you need oh, some, oh, I see. Just... I don't need any of that unless she can give me a six well, pack instead of a know. keg. Well, she, 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 even although she's a plastic surgeon, I don't want to misrepresent. She, although she can and does do aesthetic work, her primary function is is upper extremity. So hand and and then even within that pediatric hand so um people lose fingers uh, weekend warriors with their table saws yeah. or uh kids born with some you know challenges she hooks them up um, that's very that's awesome pretty fantastic cool. that's pretty fantastic very anybody nice. else have anything going on i feel like i'm missing some somebody because i want to get to the question because i know it's going to be ridiculous well you didn't answer yourself what that's what true you I didn't what ask you going on? The world is waiting, Tony. What yeah. are you up to? As Inquiring they should minds. be. Inquiring um, minds want to know. <laughs> I, you know, I got cast in sweat with Ralph um, for a part that I didn't audition for. <laughs> um, and it's going to be a heavy lift for me. I've never, I've never done anything like it um, before, um, but I'm very excited about it. Um, I love being on stage. Um, and the cast is really fantastic. I love I like working with good um, actors because I think they make you better, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm very excited about this, and I'm looking forward to working with Michelle. Um, Mike, uh, I'm sorry, I got a question here. Uh, Clark, what is the podcast called again? Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's called Soldiers of Cinema. Okay. Soldiers of Cinema, and that was that was that's kind of I stole that from one of my uh, my favorite filmmakers, an, insp an inspiration, a big inspiration to me. Uh, his uh, Werner Herzog. If you've ever heard of him, you probably have heard of him. And uh, so that's I, I kind of stole 
that it's a phrase of his. So I kind of stole that. So thank you, Mr. Herzog. And uh, we use that for the title of our podcast. So Soldiers of Cinema. Excellent. Okay, I think they got it. Okay. All right. So um, because we can do this all day, uh, <laughs> but we're going to go for it because I got I want this questionnaire so bad. Um, so we're doing uh, the questionnaire that James Lipton did oh, on his God. show, who is my template for a host because uh, he's so gracious. He's so fantastic. But um, he uses a, a version from Bernard Pivot. Um, just kind of been altered. So I'm going to ask all of y'all the same questions. You already, know my fa- you already know my favorite swear word. But I need to get it on the record. <laughs> <laughs> CNN breaking news. <laughs> Susan Bray's favorite swear word. Okay. I'm going to start one at a time. So I'm going to start with Spencer. Spencer, no, I'm not siding with the famous swear word, but that's on the list. Um, Spencer, <laughs> Spencer, what is your favorite word? My favorite word, passion. Mm, love that. Um, Kevin, favorite word. Microbrewery. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. We only two. We only two answers in. We're in trouble. Um, Susan, <laughs> favorite word. <laughs> She's laughing. We're in trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of a word, but I- I'm not sure it's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be really losing. Moist. Oh, oh my, my God. God, everyone loves their That's word everybody. moist. It's yeah. everyone's favorite word. <laughs> oh, least favorite word from what I so, so usually it's people's least favorite word, but Tony, I swear, <laughs> didn't this come up in our last podcast? This, I swear to God, this came up in the last Ryan episode. Ryan Bautista, it was his favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Nice. Really? <laughs> oh my God. All right. Uh, <laughs> I can't now. Who, I can't. Who can top that? Yeah. I, nobody. <laughs> nobody. We're done. John. That's it. <laughs> Where's John? John. Uh, I'm right word. here. I I would have to say. <clears throat> if you say that voice, over I'm the last seven this out. years, my favorite word is granddaughter. Oh. Granddaughter. Aww. See now, awesome. Sue. Don't you feel just a little horrible? I do. <laughs> if it's any consolation, moist is my second favorite. Oh word. my God. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Jeffrey, favorite word. Dan yes. Dan, your favorite yeah. word is yes. Isn't this? Yeah, I can get a test to that. <laughs> Clark, favorite word. My favorite word is. Okay, so and this is this is my this is my kind of pet name for my wife. So my favorite word is bean, like B E A N. All right, fine. Be a good husband, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you must. Uh, <laughs> d- 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 Ralph, did I ask you? You did not. Ralph, what is your favorite word? Moist. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, you know, it's, three, it's a three-time rule, right? Say it three times. <laughs> yeah. yep. Comedy anyway, comes yep. in threes. Yes, exactly, we know right. that. So yes. anyway, um, you ought to be no, ashamed think, of yourself, um, Ralph. I have to say, probably my uh, my favorite word is dedication. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Spencer, you roll back up again. So you that I got everybody right. Second question, Spencer, what is your least favorite word? You can say moist here and I'm good. <laughs> um, dead. Oh. Oh, interesting. Listen. Dead. Dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. Let's see. Ralph. Everyone's uh, shifting. I'm sorry. Um, least favorite word. Um, can't. Mm. I think that's my least favorite Still word. On. Can't. John. My least favorite word is 
when it's pronounced this way, is the end. What? <laughs> I don't have a lot, at least we were worried. So there's, there's, there's a pronunciation oh, that's going around with you the, glottal the glottal stop. The glottal stop when you say button or cotton, it just drives me nuts. So right uh, now, that mispronunciation is my least Okay, favorite. I got it. I'm, I'm there. I hate when people drop consonants because consonants yeah, so are I. friends. Um, <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> least favorite word. <laughs> Sorry. Wowza. Uh, destroy. Destroy. Okay. Sue. They're tough, huh? It, it's 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 tough. I a liar. Okay. <clears throat> Jeffrey. Allergies. <laughs> All right. As we've heard. Uh, no, Clark. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I don't know if this is quite a word, but but shh. Oh. Hmm. I actually kind of get that. I kind of get that. Did I miss anybody? No. I All right, I'm so. going the other way. Uh, Clark Coffee. Yes. What turns you on? Oh. Let's see. A surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> You have, that's a great answer, but you can't that's a answer. Great answer. <laughs> Can I just steal that? Do I, I don't even, I mean. You will get lucky to die if your wife oh, would man. say that. So oh I'll my God. This, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this in the, uh, you know, PG. Uh, laughter turns me on, man. I love laughter. I, I get that too. John. Originality. Okay. Ralph. Adventure. Jeffrey. Uh, music in almost any form. That knew that answer. Yeah, he loves music. Uh, Sue, what turns you on? Uh, enthusiasm. Okay, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> nervous right now. Devin, <laughs> <laughs> what turns you on? Susan. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> oh, I knew I mean, come on, you got it. And but yeah, yeah, you do. You you have to do that. You have to do that. Because can... I like sleeping in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Fabulous, Spencer. Oh, sorry, Kevin. You had something else to say? No. Oh, the, your <laughs> mouth was open, so I I thought. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, I I do that to ventilate sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to be a thing. I should have just done this show by asking the questionnaire. Period. <laughs> um, Spencer. I would say hu humor. 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 Yeah. Uh, did I miss anybody? No. So we're going to go backwards. Spencer, you first. What turns you off? Sadness. Okay. John. Negativity. Kevin. I, right off the top of my head, I'd have to say negativity. Okay. I was glad you didn't say my wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thank you. He wants to sleep in bed. Gotcha. Gotcha. Susan. I'm Sue. Not saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, what turns you off? Uh, intolerance. That's a good one. Jeffrey. Um, uh, dishonesty or, you know, that sort of ungenuineness, that kind of thing. Sorry. Very general. That's fine. There's no wrong answer. Ralph. Fear. Fear. Mm. Oh. Clark. Super simple, but uh, meanness. Okay. Uh, back to you, Spencer. Again, people are moving, so I'm trying to stay focused here. Uh, what sound or noise do you love? 
Laughter. Uh, Clark. Uh, you know, it's uh, like the sound of surprise. When you surprise somebody, that's, that's fun. I don't know what sound that would be, but like, you know, like a, a sound of exclamation. Okay. <laughs> Ralph. My daughter's laughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeffrey. Uh, my mother's voice. Sue. Uh, the ocean. Mm. Kevin. You know, I'm losing my hearing, so I've kind of forgotten what my <laughs> favorite sound is. Uh, really? I think uh, music. Music, yeah. John. Laughter, specifically on the 23rd floor. <laughs> oh, nice. 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 Okay. Let's just close it yeah, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But something that Milt would say. <laughs> Absolutely, something Milt would say. Um, uh, so that, so conversely, the next question is, and it's to Kevin, according to my screen. Kevin, what sound or noise do you hate? Uh, motorcycles. <laughs> I get it. Especially at 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Susan. Shouting. Mm. John. Squeaky doors. Hate them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Jeffrey. Um, a car door scraping on the curb. Mm. I just, uh, it's like nails. That's on a, a good one. Yeah. And if it's your car, you know you just damaged it. It's like double whammy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> um, I don't know. What sound or noise do I hate? I guess hearing my daughter cry about anything. Hmm. You, you're such a dad. Or Hannah. Yeah. You're such a dad. I know. Uh, like, just like John is such a granddad. Yeah. You see, if you see his Facebook post, it's all about the grandchildren. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> it is and all I'm so about the jealous. grandchildren. You know, be careful. Uh, Spencer. Yeah, I think anytime someone revs their engine really loud, I, I don't like that. Clark. Uh, so when you've been traveling, you know, like 15 hours, you're in an airport, it's like uh, got some long layover. And, you know, all you know how there's just a constant stream of loud, distorted announcements. They're loud, but somehow you also still can't really make them out. And they mm-hmm. kind of just overlap and it just fills your, it's just like this constant onslaught. That, that's my least favorite sound. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm only gonna weigh in on this one because I think two of you should know the answer to this question. What is my least favorite sound? What is his least favorite? I, I, I don't expect you, you or Susan to know that, but I've done this with uh, Clark and... I'm trying to remember. So I know what I said last time. I'm trying to remember what you said. Cats mating. Ah, that's right. Oh, we wow. had a whole conversation oh. about cats and heat. It is the I, worst yep. sound yep. Yep. ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand one. why they even do it if it makes them sound like that. It's just yeah. hideous. And they only <laughs> seem to do it at one, two, or three in the morning. Yep. Can you not have sex in the daytime when I'm awake? And do you have to do it outside my window? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anything inside of me that makes me make that noise. And and then they light up afterward. Yeah. And and, and who wants to get stuck? You should be able to get it done and move the hell on. 
What's going on, Jesus? I feel like you just need to do a whole yeah. episode. I feel like on yeah. cast mating, I'm yeah. down. You, and you I could probably invite Dr. Sanjay Gupta to give me some medical <laughs> situations here. <laughs> okay, moving on. Back to you. Here we go. Buckle up, Clark. What's your favorite curse word? Oh man, like so. I am okay, going to post this to YouTube after. So no, it, okay. So so hold on. I want to preface this. So it's not really a curse word. Okay. And I'm not trying to get out of saying like a true curse word. Because yeah, whatever I can say, shit, fuck, whatever doesn't matter. But the, but the, but the, but the, but I think the the funniest word to me, and I have no idea why, is turd. I don't know why turd is such a funny <laughs> word to me, but it is. It is like it. It. It's been funny to me since I was three. It's funny to me now at forty five, and it hasn't lost any of its charm or ability to make me smile i don't know why the hell turd is so funny it just sounds funny so it's not a curse I feel word like really you but get you a shirt that says turd now <laughs> i don't know why i feel like i need to do so that funny. i don't know why it's so funny. anyway so that's my favorite spencer i mean it's boring but i think damn just because you can use it with any group of people and you can use it for almost any reason. <laughs> yeah. I you know I love you, Spencer, but it probably is the most boring cuss word ever. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but okay. But I love you. I affirm you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Ralph, favorite cuss Son word. of a bitch. <laughs> God. That's a I bunch of words. That's I, didn't not even, one word. I didn't even get that sentence out. <laughs> I think you Ralph on just it, wanted to cuss. I think it's the delivery, Ralph, that seals What is there. happening on your Saturday that I couldn't finish that sentence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to ask me again? No. No, no, no. Okay. I'm done. I'm good. We're good. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> well, it's boring, but fuck is my go-to like Right off the bat, doesn't you know. have to be boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. You're right, Kevin. It's in the delivery. Yes, it is. All right. All right. John, my favorite uh, curse phrase is "God damn it," and the reason for that is because when I say "God damn it," uh, my lovely wife Lisa says, "You sound just like your dad." So I kind of feel like I'm carrying <laughs> on his legacy. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Damn it. That's awesome. That's I good. Have, yeah. I, I, you have the uh, award for best reason to swear to honor a dead family member. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Yep. Good job there, John Shannon. No one else has done that but you. You're a pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, I know the answer to this already, but I'm going to ask you. Favorite it's cuss word. Actually, words. an add-on. Oh. Motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Yes. For the win. <laughs> That's a great word. Hey, hey, hey. It really Kevin. Is. Uh, it's it's an exclamation. Okay. And it's fuck me, Loretta. <laughs> All right. And the award for most specific favorite cuss words. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty darn specific. <laughs> you know happen? what's weird? I feel like I need to use it in a sentence every day next week. <laughs> okay. I just want to know who Loretta is. Because <laughs> right? this, this <laughs> wow, Loretta <laughs> got some stuff going on. <laughs> I'm saying. You know? Occasionally, that's my nickname. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot with this situation. <laughs> We're doing the moist thing. <laughs> it has to this... do with Kevin wanting to be in the bed. Uh, you know, okay, so I am, going, to I am going to send this broadcast to HBO. We're all <laughs> yeah. going to be rich. <laughs> I will give you full cut. This is fantastic. Uh, okay, so I think according to the shipping here, Ralph, um, what 
I cannot believe that Kevin just went there. Um, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Um, teacher, probably. That'd be a fun. teacher. Yeah. Like yeah. That'd be cool. John? When I was really little, I wanted to be a baseball player. Mm -hmm. And then I really wanted to be a baseball player when I was really, really little. And I found out they got paid. I thought they get uh, to play baseball and they get paid. That, that seems like a dream job to me. So it does. Kevin. Sure. Um, an attorney. Oh, wow. God bless you. Susan. <laughs> uh, chef. Jeff. I also would like to cook. I'd like to be a chef. Also, I would. I would give that a whirl. We'll we'll open up our own place, Jeff. You're on. Absolutely. Spencer. Um, I've dabbled in fiction writing, so I, I think it would be fun to be a fiction oh, cool. writer. Oh, that All could be cool. Of, you know, short cool. stories, novels, even screenplays. Yeah. Ralph, did I miss you? No, I said teacher. You already got me. The teacher. Okay. Uh, Clark. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago when we did this, I said <laughs> war correspondent, uh, journalist, but I'll say something different this time. I would like to be a crop duster pilot. So that's like open cockpit, like little, like I, it, for me, it'd be a biplane. It doesn't have to be a biplane, but you like fly low and fat, you know, so that's what I'd be. I'd be a crop duster pilot. Open cockpit, there's a joke there. I'll, um, you know you can be a crop I'll duster anywhere, right? You don't need a you plane. Can, <laughs> what? Oh, ha ha. But up, um. <laughs> you guys still have it. Yes. <laughs> I knew I, this. I, I set them up and you knock them down, buddy. I uh, knew this group would not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Clark, uh, I think you're up. Um, what profession would you not, would you not like to do? Oh, my God. Accountant. Never, ever, 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 never, ever. Accountant. Spencer. Probably a janitor. I, I wouldn't want to clean toilets. Mm. Uh, Ralph. I'm, also, I'm with Clark on the accountant thing. I hate math, so anything with math, oh. I'm out. <laughs> Jeffrey. I would not want to work at any type of sewage treatment plant. <laughs> but that's me, you know. <laughs> I'm like, how do you even think about that? I mean, like, I'm, I'm just like thinking, like, hold on for just a second. It's like, if you don't like math, you say accountant, you know, you don't want to be a janitor. I get that. But it's like, how specific is that? Like, I don't want to work at a sewage treatment plant. Well, Have you like thought about that? Have you like driven by yes, a sewage treatment plant? You're like, you're like, you're and like, you like, it's a you shitty job. <laughs> <laughs> you no, could you could you could no be the number one guy it. in a number two business. <laughs> oh my god. Think of the possibility. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Y'all, Mike is dying back here. <laughs> he is absolutely dying back here. Oh uh, Susan. <laughs> Uh, nurse. Oh, mm. you wouldn't want to be a nurse. No, I would. I would probably faint or get sick. Especially if you had to do the shitty part of the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have to deal with any moisture. I, I oh my god! <laughs> I set that up. Kill me now. <laughs> I, I need to walk into that. Walked right oh into gosh. that. Kevin? Oh, wow. Um, a mortician. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Did that get you already? Spencer? Yes. Did I ask you already? Yes, yes I said Jenner. Okay, I just want to be sure you said Jenner. Did I miss anyone? John. You didn't ask John. John. Oh, my God. Here we go. John, go for it. <laughs> Hold on, John's gonna talk. 
Everybody buckle up. <laughs> I would not want to be a politician with fundraising. Mm, I, I, I'm there with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That oh, yeah. Boy. I would, All right. Last question, starting with um, Clark. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You're in the right spot. Jeffrey. Welcome. Kevin. You're better looking in person. (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty fantastic, by the way. It's pretty fabulous. Susan. Moist. Moist. Yes. <laughs> uh, fellas, if just imagine the me, gates opening. I have a uh, an appointment oh, in no. the other room. <laughs> oh my God, Susan Bray. I, I feel like not I, with you. I can just imagine like a choir of angels singing that in rounds or something. You know, as the gates slowly open. You're you're never gonna have me on again, are you, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. No, I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. I don't know. In no a wonder I'm sore. We're gonna do a whole moist show, <laughs> 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 starring Susan Bray. <laughs> moist and cat screwing. That's the show. Oh my doing. God! Don't help, Ralph. Don't <laughs> help. <laughs> God. Oh, okay. And now I'm all discombobulated. Uh, Rap, did I ask you already? You didn't. What is? <laughs> we just okay, Jesus. I'm, I, I am going to get this right when I'm done. I'm going to talk to you. We're going to work it out. Rap, <laughs> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Where the hell have you been? <laughs> Just, what does that mean? Does that mean like he wanted you to die quicker? Thank like, you. No, I just, he's like, what were you me. doing down no. there living? Like, what were you doing down there living, buddy? Out damn time. Oh God. Uh, Spencer. Uh, help you, my brother out. You may uh, join your loved ones right over here. Oh, oh that's sweet. That's good, nice. Good See, it is for all you Pharisees. Um. <laughs> heathens, us um, heathens, heathens, just sit us. Um, did I miss anybody, John? John. I asked you already. Oh, I didn't ask you already. No, no. Okay, John. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question? John, John makes me nervous. <laughs> John makes me nervous. Remember those fresh pair of underwear I talked about early on? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, John. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm twisting. <laughs> John, what was the question again? If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? When you get to the door, the code word to get in is moist. I feel I feel yeah, like I, I I see a show coming on in the future. We can write what we can write it together, you know. Moist. <laughs> moist. Oh my gosh. Moist the musical. And musical. <laughs> yes, moist and musical. <laughs> the life you and thought, times of you thought fuck moist. was bad. Well, moist. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, that's the last of the questions. <laughs> Mike is still it. dying, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Let yeah. me just say very Spencer, you look so serious right now, buddy. Who I, I'm what? You look so serious for a second. You oh no, I'm I'm contemplating. Oh, you're <laughs> contemplating the meaning moisture. of moisture. That's right. Yeah. It's contemplating moisture and how to. <laughs> I just looked down in the corner and I saw your face and you looked you looked almost sad, solemn. I was like, buddy, are you okay? 
Sometimes I zone out. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I think we all do that every once in a while. Oh, yeah. We're getting to that age, right? It's, you know, 15 yeah. years later, it's happening. Get it. You are yeah. still the youngest person on this screen. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. And you know what? I always will be. <laughs> Unless Sharon joins us <laughs> next time. Yeah, that's Rick. true. Good point. If, oh. You know what? Think about it. Uh, Ralph, I know you're in touch with her. If you talk to her, please let her know that we are wishing her the best with her new delivery, her new baby. Um, we hope everything turns out well. We missed her today. Um, but congratulations to her. I will definitely please jump in. Please send it on to her on behalf of the entire cast. That's really fantastic news. And I hope she's well. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, on that note, because I have cried and might have peed a little. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is moist. Oh my God. At least. I did it again. I just walked right into these landmines. Oh my God. Yes. You have I no might. one to blame but yourself. I don't. I don't. And John Shannon, don't ever mention this again because I, I have a propensity to seeing John before anybody else. Um, but anyway, um, this has been ridiculously fun. Sure has. It's been a good time. Indeed. And totally. thank y'all so much for doing this on the show. I know we're probably the only people who care about this as much. <laughs> I haven't mean, heard Mike laugh as much as he has. Um, um, he, yeah, I'm sure he's a little moist. Uh, he, 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 might, he might have peed a little bit. Um, and I hope you didn't put that on my chair because they're ivory. Um, but <laughs> sick, I'm going to have to go get some... Um, What's that? The, the resolve. That's a whole lot of frightening. I'm just gonna say. I'm just saying. You really did it this time, dear. But, but you really did it this time. I just said, yeah, <laughs> you really did it this time. <laughs> I know you were talking to me. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much. Um, just so you know, I'm gonna post this to YouTube. It's available on Facebook already. Share it as you will. But I'm gonna post it on the Tea Time with Tony. Um, channel YouTube channel thank you um and so it'll be available there and i really appreciate y'all doing this if i don't talk to you thank you before, and we should yeah wait thank so you tony long. this is awesome and thank you thank guys you, for showing up it's really good to see everybody yes. yeah it was great, great to see you. everybody happy it thanksgiving was. everybody you too. Happy, happy thanksgiving, thanksgiving. Happy thanksgiving. Happy thanksgiving. Happy thanksgiving.